Five points to ten in their semi-final at Old Trafford, scoring five tries to one, with two of them coming from Martin Afire. This cup run has undoubtedly united the Welsh nation and united two rugby codes. These are surely union shirts. With expectations so high on both sides, it was predictably tense early on, leading to the inevitable exchange of penalties. But England were first to cross the line, Paul Newlove showing all his strength following a superb pass from Andy Farrell. And it was England's support play that ensured them an 11-4 lead at the break, Dennis Betts over after a surging run from Tony Smith. When Bobby Goulding found a fire with two pinpoint kicks in the second half, England looked home and dry, though the second touchdown looked slightly dubious. But the Welsh found their second wind, Roland Phillips going it alone to crash over in the corner, and Jonathan Davis' conversion cutting the deficit to nine points. England, though, wrapped up their place in the final with this late try from Phil Clark, made by the angle run from man of the match, Bobby Goulding. Pete Barclough, Sky News. So a great day for England, who will now face either Australia or New Zealand in the final at 